Hey guys, this is Mandeep. It is Sunday, November the 29th and uh, I'm going to do a short tutorial today and uh, walk you through uh, a scan where you can look for unusual option activity. Now, normally uh, to uh, look for you know, unusual option activity, you have to subscribe to some kind of a service and clearly the services have value because you know they offer uh, a lot more data than you can glean from a quick scan on uh, Thinkorswim. So, for example, uh, you know, Flow Algo is one of them, and this is what I currently use. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, detail we could uh, get into, and that's a topic for another discussion, another day, where we'll talk about, uh, you know, what are sweeps, what are blocks, what are splits, etc. But for uh, this discussion, we are only going to look at, um, you know, just unusual option activity. And it, at least in case of Flow Algo, what they do is um, they have their own proprietary algorithm, and anything that they track because in, in, in general there's a lot of option activity right so I'll show you through the day there's like tons of activity that happens right and you you really need to be able to decipher which one makes sense and which one would you take right and uh, my personal preference is to look for options that are near dated right so and you know where um, a, a lot of uh, money has been you know thrown into the options so those are the ones that actually interest me but anyway just in case um, um, you want to know this in case of Baidu, uh, you know, they were hitting and we'll take a quick look at this. They were hitting the 150s and 155s um, and this is for January uh, the 15th. Now we can go back and think of swim and go into the trade option and uh, head into this uh, 155 stock uh, strike price and you'll see, you know, there's a, a bunch of these uh, trades that were made. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, there's two things that you have to keep in mind. One is the open interest, right? These are the number of contracts that are currently open. And then these. this is the volume for the last trading day. Now, it becomes an unusual activity when the um, volume that you're trading is greater than the open interest, right? Now, you'll have to check for these numbers on Monday, right? If this is uh, these were net 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 new positions that were added, you would see this, you know, almost double, right? Close to fifteen thousand. Because if some of these positions were closed, and they are actually subtracted from this number, so that's the thing that you just need to uh, know and um, understand about um, volume and open interest. So typically, you want to see uh, in the day when the volume is exceeding the open interest, because that tells you right off the bat that these are net net new positions that have been added. So let us head into the scan, right? And uh, in the scan, what we'll do is we'll look for uh, uh, the option hacker this time. Now, typically, we, you know, we go into the scan uh, stock hacker, but we'll go into the option hacker. And we have um, a blank uh, setup here, and uh, there's a couple of different things you can do, which is all of these conditions need to be true, none of these need to be true, or any of these need to be true. So this is your or condition, right? But we'll just keep it simple here. So we'll add a filter, and the first thing we'll do is we'll add a talk filter. And what we're saying is, at minimum, we're looking for a volume that is 5,000 contracts, at least 5,000 contracts were traded, okay? So, so that's your condition number one. Now, again, this is you know completely adjustable, and I'm basically showing an example of how to do it. Now, let's add another filter, and uh, let's look for a uh, study, and we look for uh, volume that was unusual. I mean, this is not option. This is not unusual option volume, but this is your uh, your regular trading volume on the stock, and we are saying the volume increased at least 20% from its typical average of 50 period average, right? So, so that's another condition. Now let's add another filter and we'll add another study filter and uh, we will go and uh, hit the custom button here and click the edit button and uh, we'll scroll down to the price here. So what we want to look for is the volume is uh, greater than and we'll select here price again and we look for the open interest right so and you uh, open interest yes save so we're saying this didn't put the value properly so I'll go and change that again price and volume save so now we're saying voila another error is greater than 
and save this. So volume is greater than the open interest, right? So that's just showing you unusual um, activity. We're also saying we want uh, a situation where uh, the minimum option contracts that were traded were 5,000 and lastly the uh, unusual volume which means uh, the actual trading volume was 20% higher than 50 period average, right? So then let's hit the scan button and see what kind of results do we get, right? So we could, uh, you know, sort it by a number of different ways. We can sort it by the symbol. And so the interesting thing that you see in this is that a lot of the, you know, cannabis stocks were in this list, right? APHA, right? You have uh, um, SNDL, you have Tilray. So it clearly shows that for whatever reason on um, last Friday, even though it was a, a short session, there was significant interest in, in these cannabis stocks, right? And then you can go back and see, you know, what exactly were they hitting. So in case of Tilray, they were buying December December call. So let's take a quick look at that, right? So let's look at uh, Tilray and then we look at December the 4th. Let's go into trade and uh, December 4th and start looking at, you know, these values, right? So so as you can see right around here, right, look at these numbers. So th there were 10,000 volume and the open interest was just uh, 3,823. So as I said, some of these could be closed, but net net these, there's new positions that were added. So these guys are targeting, you know, the seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, right? These are the calls that they're buying, even, um, you know, nine calls, right? So that gives you a little bit of an idea about uh, you know what the option guys uh, are going after now the reason i follow this um, quite diligently is because in a way they're doing the research for me right if they are like laying so much wood and spending so much money buying these options then um, i can you know most likely follow them as long as you know the the chart for me jives as well right so if i look at the chart and i say okay what happened here right so let's take a look and this is kind of the strategy that i discussed in my previous video right so i had a buy as well um the trade is up 23 cents we can look at uh, apha and see when it was triggered right um and we will um, so this has been up 89 cents, so it's been a long position for a while, so it triggered two days ago. So basically, in a way, the strategy is, you know, uh, a little bit more patient, uh, you know, and I'm being facetious about it, but it's, you know, looking at volume and the momentum indicators, and uh, it was already hitting a buy even before the the net net volume came, which is definitely a good thing. So we can look at um, the other stock that was in the list was Eno, um, and that also, as you can see, you know, the volume is really high, and at the same time, yeah, there was a buy signal as well. So it's up dollar thirty two, which is pretty decent, and this trade is still open. And finally, um, Moderna, right? And I'll show you what they were hitting. Um, you can see in this um, scan tab that they were buying the Moderna stock and we can take a look at the chart and uh, so this trade for me at least triggered a day earlier right it triggered at around 96 and <clears throat> that trade is up 24 dollars and it's still sort of running but uh, let's take a quick look at the scan uh, sorry not the scan but the trade and Moderna and uh, uh, see what they were hitting let's go back uh, let's scroll down to the 140, 145 area and uh, we will see that there was uh, a lot of these new positions that uh, were added, right? So you can see that there's very little open interest. It was 259, 200, 118, but they added 6,000, you know, 3,600, um, 6, another 6,000 lot. So all of these, since it's greater than the open interest, these are net new positions that were added. So clearly these guys, um, are, you know, are targeting Moderna to, you know, get, you know, hit this area. Whether it does or not, obviously nobody knows, right? But because some of, you know, these guys are also speculating in, in, in many cases like us. And this is mainly because of the fact that, uh, you know, they're going to um, uh, be submitting their application for the COVID-19 vaccine. And uh, people have been quite positive with the, <clears throat> the uh, BioNTech and the Pfizer, which was based on the mRNA uh, platform. And these guys also use the same 
pl platform. So therefore, uh, there's a you know decent chance that they will get approved as well. So that's the reason that uh, you know. So hopefully this little scan uh, kind of helps you a little bit in understanding you know how to. Uh, you know, create a scan for unusual option activity. Again, this is very simple, very quick. I just uh, looked at it last night uh, for a few minutes and decided to do the tutorial on this. But, you know, there's a number of different things that you can play with. You know, you can, you know, uh, look at other, you know, um, option geeks if you're interested in um, volume or you can you know increase decrease the number and see you know what kind of stocks do you get and those are the ones that you normally trade so hopefully this helps i'll talk to you in my next video bye bye